What is happening, y'all? So we are back and ready to go. I can't believe I overlooked this, uh, but I did look it up because I had no idea where to go. So every single time we've walked in here, I've just been like, okay, let's go down because it's dark as shit. Little did I know there was a staircase that went up and that's all we had to do this whole freaking time. We just had to go up. We just had to go up. Be nice. I could see a little bit more in here. Well, at least this is one. This one's obvious. A big fucking pee plastered against the thing. I can't believe how easy it was. It was just. It was like right fucking there, literally right in front of me. See, this is why you can't make your games too dark, because then people just miss the simple things like this, and they get frustrated. They told me she escaped the darkness, that she's with the gods. But what if they lied? What if the darkness took her and trapped her here? It's a trap. The beast is coming. If I stop running, does she just get like gobbled up? No. What? No. Oh, no. there goes the Edilian. Father's keeping me away from the others. Away from Tilly. I won't give up. I'm not going to rot in here. Well, Dillian is, uh, he's down there. So, you know, good luck with that. I don't think you're going to find him. But maybe, you know, we're just looking for a head inside of a giant, seemingly endless cave. Why is she like sidestepping? Like this isn't even that thin. I always find it convenient how like we're in, we're in, uh, you know, Helheim or whatever, or the gates of Helheim or. Whatever this place is, you know, seemingly untouched for hundreds of millions of thousands of years, but there's always torches burning. Always, always a torch burning. And not only are there torches that are burning, there are braziers that are burning. There are torches like the one we're holding that are literally just sitting around waiting for us to pick them up. 
just it don't make sense. I mean, Assassin's Creed had the same problem, you know? You go into... Go into tombs and there'd be, like, fucking torches lit, and it's like, uh... Fuck did this work? Sit your ass down, bro! She went for the anime finish. Get your ass up. Bullet time, ass beating. All right, we gotta find the R. Like a pirate. Probably something with this. Like go back and with that light I can see it now or something. Actually reminds me of a joke so there's a there's a pirate that walks into a bar and he has a, uh, a boat wheel attached to his pants the bartender looks at him and he goes why do you have the, the the boat wheel attached to your pants there and the pirate replies "Arr, it's driving me nuts get it because like you know driving it yeah I've always thought that was a pretty funny joke. For any of you aspiring dads out there, that's that's a good one. Sigurd to roast Fafner's heart for him. Sigurd does so, but when he touches the roasted heart to see if it is done, he burns his finger. Without thinking, he licks his finger and tastes the dragon's blood. In that moment, he understands the language of birds and hears them talk nearby. Oh, 
Wait, we're really close to the M already. It's something with this. Sigurd's new found power. That's how he or the birds speak. And they say. Oh, there it is. Oh, hang on, it's part of it. Yeah, I need to cross these two things. Or it's a shadow. It might be a shadow that gets created. I see, I see what happens. Okay, I need to get light over to there. That's what it is, okay. So I had to go around and now I gotta go over here, knock down the bridge. Yeah, and then I take the light that I brought. Yep, yeah, okay. And that'll cast light in both directions to create the M to open the door. It all comes together now. through the flames just as I did oh, hang on it fucking started playing that warrior girl Sigurd learns that Brimley had once disobeyed Odin and so he had her punished stuck her with a sleep for and put her body within a rampart of burning shields only a man who knew no fear would ever reach her but like me Sigurd is fearless and passes through the flames just as I did and wakes the sleep teaches him the secret wisdom of runes, namely victory runes, ship runes, runes for persuasion, runes for truth, runes for healing and health, runes for perception and power. Like Sigurd, the greatest young warrior of the North, you must learn the secrets of runes. Like a like a boar almost. I can smell you. No. You betrayed your gods. I am. 
I'm leaving with him. You turn your back on me. <laughs> that is why Dillian will rot in hell. Come into my shadow. Doesn't really lend itself well to giant boss things like this. Magical light burst with my sword. Oh, from behind. I was trying to do all go all Luke Skywalker on his ass. So it's only going to materialize when it's in the light. Away, you big pussy. My magical light blade is too much for you. as an unnatural, invisible force, and so invoke the guards for protection. But evil can come from the hand behind the guards. A familiar hand, cold and cruel. He tried to fix her with his rituals, kept her trapped in that hole. She couldn't say which was worse. The darkness. Or well, the monster that her father had become. She couldn't fight them both. And so she left. Headed for the one ray of light that shone down on her. If she had stayed, she wouldn't have survived. But maybe Delian would still be alive. save his soul even if this time she can't save her own notice how like the rot's progressing even though I haven't actually died I think it's just like plot rot like I don't think it actually like permadeaths you forgive me Senua I know you have no reason to trust me anymore but believe this it was my mission to make you hate the darkness with a passion so great that you focus your mind on this quest. All this time, I wanted to 
protect you from the truth that would have destroyed you a long time ago. But you have conquered your darkness at every turn. You deserve to see behind the veil of darkness. Then take me to the mountains, please. As deep as we can go. I won't stand in your way. You will not survive what is in there. We about to get to Hella? Eat her ass. Hmm. I'm like a nasty bridge with the uh, leg locusts or whatever the hell these things are. go that way, but what's over here? Part of it's still fucked up though, I gotta get like over there as well. Sword. There we go. Now it's blowing again. Oh shit. Oh my god. Yeah. I gotta heal. Being a parry god is making this combat super easy. 
think that was where I fixed the puzzle, right? Yeah. Yeah, because this was just blocked up. I gotta go back down. This isn't just a broken bridge, is it? Mother, you showed me how to see further. To see the hidden wonders in our world and explore new paths into the unknown. To lead so that others may follow, or to warn so that they may avoid. That is our gift and our duty. I'm not going to look away in fear anymore. Probably gotta go up and around and fight. Oh, since we had a whole like little little cinema monologue right there for a second, let's wrap things up here. Uh, that way, next episode we can start with the Graham thing, solve the bridge, and then I'm guessing we'll push on and uh, take out the final boss. So stay tuned, and we'll catch y'all soon with some more.